Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Miss Trail's here. And Miss D, and we have some amazing creators with us today. We've got Rylan Ritchie from Miss Trennan's class in fifth grade. Maylee Brim from Miss Dow's class in third grade. All right, so let's go ahead and stand up and say the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, you guys are going to find out why these creators are with us today. But first, it is Monday, and we are going to officially kick off our brand new word of uh, the uh, week. week. And our word of the week this week is, Mr. Reynolds, what is it? Computation. 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 So have you guys ever heard that word before? No. I have kind no of, idea what I that can't means. remember. <laughs> it's not a very common word that we use. However, it does have to do with math. So mm -hmm. it is a math word. So Mr. Reynolds, when we say the word computation, what exactly does that mean? Usually when we're using the word computation, we're talking about figuring out how, how to find an answer. Right. The math you do to get to an answer yes. would be computation. There you go. So now you know what the word computation means. We will continue to use it this week, and we encourage you guys to use the word computation as the week goes along. Why are we using this math word, though? What is going on? Why would we use a math word this week? Any ideas? Um, <laughs> Carnival math night? That's you got right. it. Tomorrow night That's right. is our Carnival Math Night here at Southside. It's from 6 to 7. Lots of fun games. It's going to be so fun. Maybe a little food. That's right. And just an overall good time. Cannot wait. So we can't wait to see all of you guys, as many, as, you, as many that can, show up tomorrow night to enjoy all the fun. And these kiddos right here are on the morning announcements because they created a video from our last family fun night. Do you guys want to walk us through exactly what you did to create this video? Um, so uh, I did one job and mm -hmm. I walked around and asked all of the people who attended the night, I asked them like what their favorite activity was, what they thought about it, what they were learning, if they were having fun. And then I basically recorded that and I got quotes and stuff, and then I wrote an article about it that you guys will hear here in a second. Yes, I love it. And Maylee, what was your job? And I took pictures to capture all of the different activities, and I put them together in a slideshow to make sure we showed all the amazing things that happened that night. Wow, so it's almost like we had a reporter and we had a camera woman working really hard to showcase our school and the fun that we had on that family reading night. And they did this entire thing themselves, right? All by yourselves. Guys, it looks better than the things that Miss D and I do. <laughs> That's so we're going right. to make them in charge of morning announcements. <laughs> That's right. We're going to pass the crown to them. So we can talk about how amazing it is, but we want you guys to see just how awesome they did on this project. So tune in and check out this really great video made by our very own Ryland and Maylee. Hello, my name is Ryland Ritchie. I am a fifth grade student at Southside Elementary. I am eager to tell you about Southside's very own Literacy Night. Southside's incredible Literacy Night was held on Thursday, February 22nd. Students and their families attended this literacy-themed game night to engage in reading and writing activities. Southside always makes learning fun. That's exactly what happened at Literacy Night. There were multiple classrooms full of engaged students wanting to learn. At the same time, there were numerous entertaining games. These activities included comic fun, quick recall, gaga ball, and even campfire stories. Southside also offered opportunities to earn free books in a creative version of musical chairs. They called it the book walk. It was incredible. Now it wasn't just learning. Southside provided free pizza and there was a book fair that was taking place in the library too. Brinkley Humston, a Southside third grader, definitely had a favorite activity. She loved gaga ball. Brinkley also raved that learning with friends is a lot of fun. She attended the night with her mom. Leah McAllister, Southside's art teacher, chimed in as well. We worked really hard to plan activities so that families could have a great time together, she said. I truly believe that all of the students who attended this night of fun were nourished with learning and literature. Teachers interacted with many students and families. All of the students who attended made memories with family and friends while learning. 
This was the goal of the entire night. It truly is always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. enough to make you dance uh, that's right Taylor Swift is the <laughs> so we are going to close it up and with lots of excitement about our upcoming night tomorrow so you know we love to see you be here at Southside every day and of course we love to see you be safe, safe respectful, respectful and, and responsible. responsible and it's always a great day to be a Southside Stallion bye y'all